Hey guys, the Healy is finally done. I figured to show you guys a nice overview on it. The one with the one tone. This is the Tester's Mystical Maroon. So it's a little bit darker in person than it is in, on the camera. It's kind of the darker areas that you see is probably about the color it is very deep red. I'll have pictures at the end of the video. might show the red a little bit better. And the red goes pretty well with the tan interior. Uh, the hardest part of this kit was getting that windshield right. They gave you kind of a long sheet of uh, flat plastic that you had to kind of bend. If you get that uh, that's the second attempt I did. First attempt kind of messed up quite a bit. Got a lot of glue on it. This one I end up, instead of using the window glue, I just used a very little amount of super glue. I uh, use clothespins to hold it down in spots. And then once I was done with it completely, I used uh, Pledge revive it what it's called now which is that future um, so it actually turned out very well you can can't really see the glass in person so you can't see no glue and as I scroll across you kind of can see the reflections uh, it's showing not too much interference so I also did take some future and go over the whole body with a q-tip. Adds a little bit more shine to a clear coat. Uh, I don't really like buffing my cars. I love the look. When the guys do that nice buffed interior er, body it sure does look really nice but uh, I don't enjoy doing it so kind of just get past it. I try to get them to look as shiny as I can without doing it. Sometimes that real good reflective shine kind of looks a little too much of a show car instead of a real car that's always been driven so that's my excuse. <laughs> uh, I stuck with the plastic tires. I could not find spokes that look like this. There's a couple of them online that I saw, um, but I don't think these look that bad. They don't look that bad in person, so and they fit the car better than the rubber tires I had. And, but it don't look too bad. I'm going to stop so I can try to get these, the trunk and the hood open. I don't want to do it on camera because it's going to take a lot of finagling. They both open really well, but you kind of have to slide them forward a little bit to get them to go right. The only, and while I'm here, the only thing I would change is these headlights. I haven't decided on how I'm going to try to make them look realistic. I didn't want to cut out the plastic and all that. There's a little too much just for headlights. They do look really good when you do all that work. But uh, I was going to think of some way of painting them. I figured, oh, I can have it completely done by the time I do that. So eventually, if I want to change, I can do that. Uh, let me show the dash a little bit more in depth. So the dash actually has... A mirror and a dash and all that. The steering wheel, the uh, steering wheel comb really didn't have a very long piece that stuck out and ended up breaking. So I ended up using a piece of toothpick. Let's see, you kind of can see right there. There's a piece of toothpick in there holding it in. Shaved it down, drilled the holes. Better look at the glass. 
anybody watching this video, if you guys don't use that Future Floor Polish or Revive it or the million different names it's called, it's really worth putting on your cars. You know, put a nice clear coat. You know, have it done normal, but if you want to just give it a, an extra little shine, it does add a lot to the car. It's kind of like waxing your own car at home. Alright, let me open these hoods and I'll be right back. Alright, well there's not much that's changed in the trunk since the last video. Battery's still in there and the tire's still in there and the battery terminal's still in there. The trunk does. It does work. Here's under the hood. Pretty much the same as last time, too. For 1959, this was a pretty good kit. It's kind of like the Anglia, but you didn't have to deal with the doors so much. Went together very well until the very end. Uh, one piece did break. See it maybe from this angle. Well, you can't really see it from here, but the piece that's down here it is this piece. But you can't really see the seam, so that's pretty good. End up hiding it. It did crack on me when uh, I was putting the two halves together. Uh, all the times of test fitting it before it was painted, it didn't want to give me a problem. And then as soon as the paint was on it, then all of a sudden it wants to do that. So, yeah, I love that. I'll give a quick look underneath. I didn't do no weathering. Now you do see the oil pan and the exhaust. But there you have it. There's the complete Austin Healy. Um, might be the fifth one done of the year. It's only February. I'm moving right along. Alright. Please let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys later.